So we make four different pinots here at Home Oak and it's a really great way to be able to make sure that each parcel of fruit gets um, get sort of put into the into the right wine. So the first wine that we have is our Ilex um, Pinot Noir. And this is um, generally fruit, some comes from our own vineyard, but we also source fruit from, from other vineyards. And Ilex is the botanical name for the home oak tree, uh, which is Quercus Ilex. So that's where the name comes from. It's a really lovely, more fruit driven style of Pinot. Um, just really easy drinking, um, quite uncomplicated, but plenty of flavor. Um, then we move on to the Estate Pinot. Um, so this is sort of the Pinot Noir that we've always made before we introduced the other three. Um, it's a wine that's got beautiful sort of complexity and really good fruit concentration but also drinks well while it's young. So it will stand up to, to really um, quite robust food um, but really nice to drink by itself and there's really nice sort of silky tannins. Um, then we move up to the Wizard Pinot Noir. We've been making this one for about five years. And the name of the wizard actually comes from a tennis racket. Um, there was quite a famous tennis racket factory in Launceston called the Alexander Patent Racket Company. And one of the rackets that they made was called the wizard. And a guy called Jack Crawford won Wimbledon in 1933 using the wizard tennis racket. Now the home oak trees and other trees were planted on this property to see if they could use them to make tennis rackets. So that's the, the connection with our property. So this is a much bigger style of Pinot Noir, uh, really sort of dark fruit characters, uh, more tannin structure and more oak as well. So it's for those um, Pinot sort of lovers who love that bigger, richer style of Pinot Noir. And then the final Pinot Noir is our Hotshot Pinot. It's a style of wine that I've been working on for, for quite some time and it's a lot of whole bunch fermentation. So it's a wine with really, really beautiful complexity and structure and, and really lovely texture and mouthfeel and more of that sort of wild kind of um, stalky style of Pinot Noir but with the beautiful cherry fruit characters. And we've named that one the Hotshot because the Hotshot was also another tennis racket that was made at the, at the Alexander Patent Racket company and you can see that it has this really lovely sort of white textural um, label and, and the idea behind that is that people really need to look a little bit more closely to, to discover all the, um, the textures and complexities both in the label but also in the wine as well. So Pinot Noir in, in Tassie is, is really unique in that we get really great um, flavour depth and flavour concentration. Pinot Noir is, a, is quite a, a fickle variety and, and you really need to grow it in a in a cool climate to get the tannin structure and to get the, the depth of flavour that you require for Pinot Noir. Um, it's also again the, um, the acidity in, that we can manage to achieve down in Tasmania is, is unlike anywhere else in, in Australia. It's really quite fine minerally acidity and really sort of holds the, the wine, um, really holds the wine together so that's really unique as well.